We've got a longer question today out of Acts chapter 15, verse 10. The question is, why do you try to test God? By putting on the necks of the disciples a yoke that neither we nor our fathers have been able to bear. Now, there was probably a day when you were estranged from the Lord and didn't know right from wrong. And then you came to know him, but you still had a steep learning curve of what it meant to serve and please God. That God was gracious to you during those times, leading you into paths of righteousness as you were able to walk in them. Now, are you gracious to those who are where you were before or right after you met the Lord? Do you expect more from them than they can possibly produce? Have you forgotten where you came from and how far you have come? Now let's read some of 1 Corinthians 13. I encourage you to go read it all for yourself. But verse 4, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stifled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Who? I can't read that chapter without being deeply challenged as to how well I am reflecting the love of God. I trust that you've been challenged, and now that you have been, I I, I encourage you to ask God to, to form and develop the love that you need for other people, no matter where they are in their walk with the Lord. That's it for today. Come on back tomorrow and we'll do another question. I promise.